When you're taking out one three-way switch and you're putting in a new three-way switch, how do you know which wires have to go to which screws and how to not mess that up so that your switching works correctly or incorrectly? All right, so I had a helper ask me recently, we were trimming out a house and they were putting in devices and they took an older device out, put a new one in and all of a sudden the three-way stopped working and we were switching on like a whole bunch of lights in a different room all of a sudden. None of the wiring had changed, but the device was different. So let me explain this a little bit. I'm gonna take these out and kind of show you. So it's really important always when you're taking out a device to try to keep track of which wires are going to which thing because it actually really is important. In three ways specifically, we'll see in here, oh, there's a bunch of other stuff going on inside of there. We've got two blacks and a red. So how do we know which one has to go on which screw? If you'll notice on the device, we have a black screw and a gold screw and another gold screw over here. We also have the green for the ground. That one's pretty easy to not mess up. But if you mix these two blacks up, if you end up putting um, this is the hot side of our three-way. So this conductor is our incoming hot. This black is just one of the travelers. And when you switch this switch, you're switching between one traveler to the other travel. So one of these is energized when it's in one position. And when you flip it, then this black no longer becomes energized and it moves to the red. So these travelers switch in between them and that's how a three-way switch works. So if you end up feeding the hot conductor in and putting it on a gold screw, then the black, the other black that's feeding this is not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to get power to pass through. Or when you switch it, since you're on, the, the incoming hot is on a traveler, it's only gonna work in one position to pass power through all the, to the rest of the, or to the next device down the line. So it's crucial to make sure that you get these right. So first thing that we need to do is always go turn off power. So since we've got our power turned off, I'm gonna loosen up my screws. Now you'll notice on some devices too, that you just have a screw and there's hooks bent around them and other ones have plates that you actually are tightening a plate down. A lot of the Decora devices have plates on them and these old toggle or standard devices don't. Um, it's okay either way. When they've got plates though, I don't bend hooks on them. I just use that plate, it's a pressure plate. All right, so now I've got all my conductors off. Now the really important thing to keep straight, you'll notice I have a whole bunch of other conductors in here. So that means for some reason, this is a junction box as well as three-way. So all of these other wire nuts, you gotta be really careful, don't take anything else apart. Um, this green right here, that is gonna stay how it is. That's gonna go on the device. We just need to make sure that we got four wires when we're all said and done going on the four screws. So if you're messing around in here and all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, I just lost track of which black one was which, you'll always be able to tell which two the travelers are because they both go in the same sheathing. So even though this neutral is kind of like tucked in front of this one, I know that these two go into the same 12-3 sheathing. So I know in this 12-3, these are my travelers. Even if there's drywall here and I can't see what's going on, I know whatever two are coming in are the same exact yellow sheathing in the back, that these are travelers. The one that's not, the one that's coming from a different direction, this one you might not be able to see very well, but it's going down the bottom of the box. So that's a 12-2. So I know, okay, 12-2 is gonna be a hot or a leg, doesn't really matter. Either way, a hot and a leg are both gonna go on this black. The two travelers are always gonna go on the two golds. So that's how you can keep it straight. So no matter what, if, oh, I got all these messed up and I'm like, all right, well, it's time to put everything back. Now I know, well, at least this is my different one and these are my two that are in the same sheathing as each other. So now I can sit and put all this stuff back together and know that everything's gonna work correctly. Now I always like to put the one on the black screw first, just so as I'm doing this, I don't mess it up again. <laughs> And you'll see me using my, uh, oh, by the way, the travelers, the two travelers, it doesn't matter which one goes on which gold screw. In here, it's just making contact on one, making contact on the other, it just switches back and forth. So just whatever you get in the, the practice of doing, I would just always do it that way. Also, 
you'll notice that I'm using my screw gun to tighten all these down. Um, that's just for the time being. I'm actually gonna go through last with a screwdriver and make sure that everything is really tight. Now, if this device had tightening torques on it per code, I would have to use a torquing screwdriver, but a lot of these devices don't actually have uh, torque specs on them. And code says specifically that if something has torque specs, you have to install it per manufacturer's instruction. Um, if there's nothing, if there's a device that doesn't have that in the instructions, then technically you don't have to uh, do anything to torque specs on it. And as always, when you're putting devices back in, make sure that that ground conductor does not touch this other terminal or else you're gonna have a ground fault. Not a short circuit. A ground fault and a short circuit are two different things. A lot of people, if, some, if like a black hits a ground wire and it goes boom, they're like, oh, it just shorted out. I mean, it, technically, I guess they're not wrong because it's taking a shortcut but anything that touches ground or any like hot that touches a piece of metal that's grounded out, they call that a ground fault. Short circuit is where you have like two blacks, two hots that short each other out or like a black and a white that short each other out. That's how we distinguish the difference between a short circuit and a ground fault. All right, so now that we got our device back in, let's go turn our breaker back on. And So that's it. Just make sure when you take things out, you don't start taking wire nuts apart, but messing it up even more. The less things you take apart, the better. And make sure that whatever you took off, you pay attention to which screw you're taking each thing off. And then if you do mess it up, just always look and see what's coming out of what sheathing. Your travelers are always gold screws and your travelers are always coming out of the same sheathing. There might be some weird three ways that you're gonna come across, some dead end three ways, stuff like that, where some of the wiring is gonna be different on these. But the majority of the time, uh, this is when you run into problems with three ways.